Hey, this is Pastor Frank with a follow-up to last Sunday's message on Does God Change? Do you remember in your spiritual journey when you began reading the God of the New Testament and the God of the Old Testament and you saw that they were just, it just felt like the books had a different feel to them. I did. I remember as a brand new Christian, I first read the Gospels, first read Jesus. I'm like, I like this guy. And I remember going back and, and reading parts of the Old Testament and I didn't get it. And there's been a thought that maybe the God of the Old Testament is different than the God of the New Testament. There's a saying that, you know, when God had a son, he mellowed out. Have you ever heard that? But you know, last Sunday's message by uh, our brother Mike just talked about what we call the immutability of God, that God doesn't change. That with God, um, He's the same today, tomorrow, and forever. And when you think about that, when you really ponder that, what a what a comforting thing that is. Imagine if God was to tell you, I love you, and then God later on says, I've changed my mind. That's not our God. And when you look closely at the God of the Old Testament and the God of the New Testament, they are clearly the same God with the same message and the same uh, um, being communicating in both. And so, wonderful message. Hope you're having a good time with growth groups this week as you're just discussing and digesting that message. Uh, next Sunday, we're going to be talking about um, kind of a holiness, really. You know, um, people say, man, the Bible's so old, it's so outdated. How can that have any relevance to today? And we're going to hit that head on this next Sunday as that was a lot of questions from uh, people. So I hope you're enjoying this series. Hey, Woodbridge, uh, on we've got two big holidays coming up. Thanksgiving, well, time out, three big holidays. Well, we've got the Fall Family Festival happening on the 29th which is uh, it's a Sunday night and we encourage you to just be a part of that and come on out. We're going to have an absolute blast. And then for Thanksgiving, we're going to have a special Thanksgiving uh, meal on that Sunday before Thanksgiving and be thinking about that. And then obviously Christmas is coming up and Operation Christmas Child. Last Sunday we shared about how we can all be a part of making a box and giving a, a gift, a Christmas gift to a, a little boy or girl in a faraway land. So if you're gonna be a part of that, talk about that with your small groups, talk about that with your growth groups, and find out, hey, how can we do this, and how can we make this happen? And we're, we're in the process of getting these things together and getting ready to ship them out pretty quick. So lots of good things happening at our church. We're having an absolute blast. I uh, hope that you are having a good day, and I hope that you are resting in this day and knowing that my God, my Jesus that I'm reading about, is the same 2,000 years ago, he's the same today, and he's the same in eternity. What a comforting thing that is in a world that is so fluctuating. God is fixed. God is fixed. Everything else seems to be the variables, you know, and how can we can just lean into the Lord? So, God bless you. Hope you have a good week, and we will see you next Sunday. Take care.